Hello everyone. Uh, in the last video, I have already talked about uh, how to set up and uh, start Zeppelin. So in this video, I'd like to talk about how to run Flink local model on Zeppelin. So basically, there's three steps you need to do. First is to download Zeppelin 1.10 for the Scala 2.11. Just pay attention that Scala 2.12 is not supported by Zeppelin. And the second thing is to copy the Flink Python jar from the Flink OPT folder to Flink lib folder. This is necessary for the PyFlink. The last thing is to set up the Flink home. Now let's go to the uh, terminal. So here I have already downloaded the uh, Flink 1.10. Now let's uh, copy the address and uh, go to the uh, Zeppelin. And here let's go to the interpret setting page. Now let's configure the Flink home. And uh, then we need to save it. All right. Now let's get back to this node and we can run the batch word account example. So in the uh, first run, it will just take some time because uh, underneath it will start a mini cluster. Just a few seconds. Okay, now we can see the uh, final output. And here you will notice a uh, Flink job link. Let's go to this link. It will bring us to the uh, Flink web UI. And here you can check the details of this job. And uh, we can just go check the overview page. Uh, you will notice that here we have, uh, by default, it will ha we will have four task manager and each task manager, uh, there's one slot for each task manager. But we can actually, we can uh, uh, change the configuration to change the uh, number of task manager and the uh, slot per each, uh, for each task manager. Let's go to here. Uh, yeah, so here, um, edit. Okay, Flink team slot. This is the uh, property for setting the number of slots for each task manager. We can change it to, and this is the uh, number of, uh, this property is for the uh, number of task manager. And we can change it to three. Let's just try that, yeah. Then save it. Now we can just rerun this paragraph again. Then it will just, um, restart another mini cluster. Uh, yeah, just uh, take, just wait for a few seconds. Okay, now we can see the final output and just click the job link here. Yeah, the job is finished. Let's go to the overview page. Now we can see that now we have six slots and the task manager is three and each task manager has two slots, right? Okay, so this is the, uh, uh, this is the part, this is part two about how to run Flink local model. Thank you everyone.